Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Mario Odyssey time again. I have a guest with me, it's Walt. Say hi, Walt. Hey, hey. Hey, what's going on? Uh, last time, whoa, look at how high I jump on the moon. Last time you, I don't even think... On the moon? Holy shit. Yeah, I don't even think you saw this yet, Walt. Uh, no. Last time we basically got through Bowser's Kingdom, which for some reason was like... I don't know why, but it was a, like, Chinese aesthetic, but whatever. And now we are at the Moon Kingdom, and we're trying to stop a wedding from happening, so let's see what we can do here. And all, yay. All, all, like, all the, like, stipulations about Bowser aside, like, it's pretty dank he's getting married on the moon. Oh, like, yeah. How many people have gotten married on the moon, you know? Like, nobody. Exactly. Whoa, see? Look at that. Isn't it weird? Yeah, that's Like, awesome. the anti-gravity thing is cool. It's, it's funny. I just think it's kind of funny that they thought of that, but they didn't think that, like... Like, how is Mario breathing, you know? Because Mario can breathe underwater, man. Oh my god. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna avoid this thing. Well, it's the brain-sucking hat on his head that's, I wonder like, if... giving him nutrients to survive. <laughs> Maybe. I, I'm gonna try to get a, um... Uh, I, I assume if you can buy anything in this world, it's an astronaut's uniform. That would be awesome. That'd be so cool. Can you please do that? Oh god. Gotcha. You know what your suit reminds me of? Even though it's like a normal white suit, it reminds me of like the the stupid suit in uh, Dumb and Dumber. Like that. Uh, I forget. Uh, I don't. I don't remember their actual names in like the in the, Just, in the movie. Come on. Gotcha. Yay! I got a moon, and it actually looks like a real moon. Caught hopping, hopping on the moon. I'm all hawked up on moon. I don't know. I, that was really stupid. Uh, I suppose I could just go right to Bowser's map. Yeah, why don't I stop like messing around? I'll go right over to Bowser's uh, wedding here. What will happen? Will he marry Peach? I doubt it, to be honest. Yeah. Um, what have you been thinking of this series so far, man? Um. I mean, I know you're not caught I'm gonna up. To be honest with you, I haven't like really watched it. Like, it's like one of the only series of yours I haven't really watched. But that's mostly because, like, I've been... Basically, I was really far behind on Setsuna. And so I ended up watching, like, a bunch of that. Like, I ended up binging it all in, like, one day. And then Damn. Majora's Mask, I got caught up on. Kinda. I'm behind, like, three episodes now. And yeah. Mario Odyssey, I, like, have not seen pretty much this whole series. So I'm gonna have to go back and watch it. Because, remember, uh... How I didn't have, like, my phone wasn't on. Uh-huh. And, like, it's literally impossible, or it was impossible to stream videos at my mom's because her internet was, like, really, really Awful, bad. Awful, yeah. Yeah. Also, I can understand not watching a bunch of videos of me when you live with me. Yeah, that's <laughs> as kind we've of discussed. been my excuse as of late. Like, that's why I haven't really watched any of your videos. Holy recently. crap. Because, like, I live with you. And, like, I mean, like, it's, it's kind of funny because, like, I'll come downstairs, like, and, like, Rachel will be home from work and I'll see her just sit, like... Put up, like pull up a Rob video and I'm just like it's funny just because like <laughs> we, we all live together but we like we have like this just like this never ending just cycle of just like Rob 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 Rob, Rob, Rob. <laughs> like it like our worlds revolve, revolve around you oh really god I, man, that makes me feel creepy actually <laughs> like, uh, like uh, I'm like starting some kind of cult or something you know there is oh, only well. one true Rob there is only, only one true Rob. One, the Rob. cult of Rob. Oh god. The cult of Rob. Not as good as the cult of Dave. Uh, you're right. It's better. Yeah. <laughs> Calling you out, Dave. He doesn't I just, watch I just said watch it's out not this as hole. Good. The hole back here is there is real deep. All right. Let's see what's going on. Whoa! All right. Let's see what's in here. Oh my Whoa. god. What is this? Since when is there magma in the moon? It's an ice ball. Underground moon caverns. Oh, and actually, and for some reason, gravity is the same. Weird, the gra- oh, at least they acknowledge it. Weird, gravity feels normal here. Yeah, at least they acknowledge it. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Is the question. Uh, that's weird. For anybody who's interested, I've been playing... Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door please in my free time. Please talk about it, because that's been really cool to watch, actually. And by in my free time, I mean... Constantly. Like, literally, 
I wake up and I play it, and then I go to bed, and I wake <laughs> up and I play it. And you, like, have to then take a nap for two hours because your, like, eyes are killing you. Yeah. Because you have a migraine. Well, I had a migraine, like, I think just from, like, the car ride. And oh my like, god, I could be a fucking dry bones. No, well, a, a pair of... A, a, a pair of dry bones. bones. A pair of sorolophus. That's still amazing, though. Which apparently is... Not the correct pronunciation. No, it's Parasaurolophus. Are you sure? I'm pretty positive. Dave and Aiden said otherwise. Well, they're wrong. And she and, and Aiden is like the, the dinosaur expert, it seems. That kid is obsessed with reptiles, man. I'm pretty positive it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, Parasaurolophus. Well, Dave said it was a paralysis... Er, par Dave doesn't know what he's talking par about. I'm shitting on Dave this episode. Sorry, Dave. Um, it's a Parasaurolophus. I'm pretty positive of that. Parasaurolophus. Because I'm pretty sure I've heard, like, in documentaries and stuff, like, paleontologists saying Parasaurolophus. Let's just say there's no right or wrong way to Fine. say it. Fine. Tomato, that? tomato, Parasaurolophus, Parasaurolophus. Oh, no, no, this no. This is ass. Very hot ass. It's the curse of having me at guest. You always, like, get wrecked. Anyway, so, as you were. So, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. We got, uh, as always... I started on Wednesday, to give uh -huh. you guys reference, today is Sunday. Well, yeah, almost, almost technically Monday. Mm -hmm. But I already am at Keel Hall Key, which is like the fifth location, I think, <laughs> for the fifth Crystal and Star. And you put like 25 in, like, hours into the game. Yeah, I have. I even got crazy. like, like, I even did like a, like a lot of the side stuff too, like a lot of the troubles and whatnot I did. Which, uh, yeah, it's been interesting. I've never put, well, it's the first time in a while that I've put this much uh, heart and soul into a video game. It's a great game. It's an amazing game. I it really is. I haven't played it in a long time, so it was like refreshing to play I've it. I've only ever played it through it once, but I remember it like being very, very good. I played through it like three or four times, but I've never actually beaten it. I've beaten it. I beat it once and played it. Yeah. Well, oh got God. that on me, boy. I got to like the end, like the the almost end of the game, and then I stopped. I forget why. Maybe it was too hard or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, so that's been fun, and it's kind of rekindled my love for Mario games because because uh, your last one Super Mario Sunshine sure fucking destroyed that. Right? <laughs> but uh, I would have to say um, Goombella is best girl. Goombella is best she's girl. My, she's the best waifu. So. <laughs> Uh, I was a pretty big fan of Goombario myself, too, so I, the Goomba characters are pretty great, honestly. Yeah, the head bonk, uh... Yeah, the head and Tattle boys. is so useful, you know? Mm. I know. And I love how she's just, like, a sassy, like, like college girl, like Goomba. She's like, <laughs> that is so gross. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so disgusting. Oh, great, now the Valley Girl voice is coming out. And I, oh my god, we went out for I Indian food, first time shit. Walt ever had Indian food, and there was some girls, because it's at a college town not far from us, and uh, so this girl was going like, oh my god, can you, and Walt would kept doing these really good, like, impressions <laughs> I was doing it, like, of them. pretty loud, too. Yeah, it was pretty funny, that nobody heard, though. I wish they had. I was just like, oh my fucking god, like, seriously, why are you such a dick, dude, why are you such an asshole to me, all the time? <laughs> Oh my god. I just- I, I don't get it, Steve. And I ha- Fucking Stacy was talking to Brad again, and she can, knows I fucking love Brad. <laughs> oh my god. Can you believe that <laughs> bitch? Dude, dude, and then I was just fucking like, Oh my god, first world problems. <laughs> first world problems. <laughs> and then I realized, like, at that moment when I said that, that, like, the- it was one of those awkward moments where, like, you say something fucked up and, like, it gets, like, really, like, weirdly quiet. Yeah. You know? Like, right as you say it, and I'm like, uh oh Hopefully they didn't hear that. <laughs> then again, well, I wouldn't really care. They yeah, would never have seen me again. We're just some college kids at a Indian food restaurant. You know, holy crap. That was a really big bullet bill. That's a bonsai bill, my friend. That's what they... Is that the canon? Uh, yeah. Name? It's not a uh, fan... A, a fan-made character? What do they no, call bonsai that? bills are from Super Mario World. Really? That's oh yeah, 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 right. Where they originated. Oh my god. That was what almost disastrous. That? Like those like weird fan made like original concept care like concept arts. Like the like the like the like the creepy like like Sonic obsessed community that makes like the weird like original characters. Oh I know what you're the saying. Fan made like yeah. and 
Yeah, I don't know. That is know. a weird community. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, there is. Like you know, like more power to you, man. Like do do what you're into. Remember, th I I think one of your subscribers is like a super uh, supersonic fan. So yeah, no disrespect. No, uh, that girl that uh, was has yeah. been at a few of the live streams who really, always wants really, to Sonic really role roleplay. <laughs> yeah, Sonic roleplay with her. Yeah. And that's like what I mean. Like the like the. Like the like, no offense, like just for lack of a better word, like the cringy like like mega Sonic fans, you know, like it's like the Sonic community is an interesting community, very devoted is. to a series that honestly probably doesn't really deserve that kind of devotion. <laughs> I gotta be honest, and glasses on, which is unfortunate because um uh oh run oh no mind. whoa I'm, I'm dead. That's like so, like, ugh. I, I figured I'd let him fall to his death. Into the sea of lava. That's when you realize oh my God, you're that was awful. pissing in a sea of piss. That was awful. <laughs> I've been Let's trying try to respond to like a message for like an hour, and I haven't thought of what to say. What, what's the message? It's not important, but I'm just like, I haven't been like paying attention to it. I'm, really, I'm not really that interested at the moment. Oh. I'm just like, eh. This is tough here, all this lava. Robbie, who's your favorite Paper Mario character? Like, of any Paper Mario game? Of any Paper Mario? Like, your favorite. Besides Mario. Oh my friggin' god, come on! Like, of the partners, or just in general? Um... Just, like, in general. I love Colorado, you remember him? Uh, is that Koop's dad? No! I don't know, is he Koop's dad? He's like an explorer? Oh no, yeah, Col wait, hold on. <laughs> Colorado? I, I don't, I don't know, I don't... Does it start with a K? Yeah. I, I think they made a cameo to that in Paper Mario. In Thousand Year Door? He's got like a, like a twirly mustache and he's a Koopa. Cause it says like, when you're in, when you're in like that, uh, the castle, right? Like the one like, castle with the dragon in it? Not really yeah. a spoiler. Cause it's like the first, first chapter of the game. Um, there's like a pile of bones, and like Koops thinks that that it's, it's that it's uh, his dad. And he's oh like, really? Oh! And then he finds like a. Speaking of no, no, God fuck you! It. Come on, this sucks. Mario's, this... Mario's ass is gonna taste like. Yeah, no kidding. It's gonna be like burnt. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, I love Colorado. He's hilarious. There's like a in the very first Paper Mario. There's um. A level, like, well, like, not a level, I guess you can't really call it a level, but an area where you go to this volcano and you have to explore it, and he's looking for, like, a treasure, and it's so funny. Like, uh, it's just so, so funny. He's a great character. The, also, uh, uh, as far as the partners in Paper Mario, I'd have to say Paracarry is, like, the best. I love Paracarry. I think it was random that you got, like, a Koopa, and then a par and then a Paratroopa. Paratroopa, yeah. You know? Um, Come on, let's keep going. But yeah, no, there was a pile of bones, and, like, it had a letter, and it was, like, To my dear son, Colorado. That was the name. So maybe it was, like, the father of that guy? Yeah, that's pretty interesting, yeah. It was it, a it sounds like it is, to be honest. That game breaks the fourth wall a lot. Oh, yeah, so did the, uh, the first one, I'm pretty sure. Because, like, it'll be like, you, the one sitting in front of the TV, you, you better not tell, like, whatever. You know, I would just get across real quick. There you go. Out of there, son. Uh, give me a, uh, a halfway point here, please, please, please. This has been quite the elaborate underground maze here. Oh my god, a charge, charge and chuck. And chuck. Get please out tell me I can possess it. I don't, I don't yes, I am a fucking charging chuck. Are you kidding me? That is amazing. I hated those guys in Mario World. I hated them. Oh, I hated them in Mario World too, but it's pretty amazing that I'm actually playing as one. Alright, Robbie, monologue for a bit. I'm gonna try to respond to this text. Okay. <clears throat> oh god, oh man. I don't think I can jump. Okay, with him. That was ridiculous. Can I? Let's try it. They they usually they could jump in Mario World. What? Charging trucks can't jump? No, I don't think so. Probably because they're so big. Oops, that's alright, okay. What's this way? Or maybe he maybe his shell is too heavy, like uh like, uh, Captain Toad's backpack. <laughs> I can't jump, because I have a heavy backpack on. <laughs> my name's, my name's Captain, I love Captain Toad. He's cute. 
Are you going to be able to charge across that? No, the other way. Oh my god, this wow, is pretty cool. Nice. That is awesome that I'm that I was just a charge and chuck. I don't know. I think that one's a really cool one because it's a classic Mario enemy. Holy crap! Oh, this stupid la like brutal lady. Oh my god! Look at this. Ooh, Ew, dude. Uh, what, do this voice. Um, hold on. Um, for some reason I'm getting like. Thumpy vibes. Like I really am. <laughs> Just go ahead. Do you remember me? You were ever so rude to me back in the Cascade Kingdom. <laughs> in fact, you were quite rude to all my darling Brutals, which is why we're all here now. Now I do believe it's lunchtime for my newly powered up Chain Chompikins. Oh my god. <laughs> do you see that? She just did the sus face. She was just like, yeah. Mm. Oh god. <laughs> ah, that was stupid. Uh oh. Not sure how this is gonna go. I love chain chomps too. Oh my god. She's get she's getting mad. Boom! Right in the face. Splendid. Run Mario! Oh god! God, oh, man. oh god, oh man, I reference that so often. I know. Dude, I reference like our old select player videos all the time. I like all the time. I know. It's like this it's so funny. Because I, I just love that era. Yeah, it was great. Like, it was like We had fun. I've been very nostalgic lately about like Come on. Select player and my old channel. Yeah. Like I've been very nostalgic. The current about gaming. It I wish that, that still existed. I, I really see. do. Yeah, I was I was talking to Rebecca about it. Oh my uh, god, I have to go all the way back here, really? Because she plays a lot of League of Legends, and I did that with Kevin and a few of his friends, and like it was so bad. Like I I was terrible at that game, dude. How has Kevin not guested on my channel yet? Like what the hell? Because he lives in New Jersey and he, you live in New York. I know, but he's got to like he was technically in Streets of Rage for a second, but like. Oh yeah, with you, us just like you trolling could, in the background. But like, I want one with just Kevin, you know? That'd be fun. Or the three of us would be fun well, too. that's why you gotta have Kevin come up on a weekend that you're actually here. I know, I know, it'll have to happen. But he was like, player number like three, you know? In select player. That's true. So yeah, and you guys bonded over, uh, well, like the got mutual PTSD over, um... <laughs> the first Metroid the, yeah, game. Yeah, the first Metroid yeah. game. Go and watch that, everybody. That's a, that's a good series. And I remember it was funny because it was like the only series that I wasn't in, and yet I was still in it. Yeah, you were. Because I was like always watching in the background or like something else. Oh yeah. That was a fun series, even though we got really- I got like so mad, oh my god. I, I love how like Kevin was just like, oh, this game is ho- oh, oh, I'm getting like flash, but like, like, He's like, know, like okay, horrible flash. Like, he would just like ham up the fact that it would like, that it like really like physically like took him like took him out and like he didn't even really play it you know, like i just love that he played it for like five minutes yeah i played most of it but... i know he's just like oh this game is so i can't deal with yeah, this but, game but watching it is pretty painful so yeah i was never like a huge metroid fan so like i wasn't i've been I watched every episode of that i've been playing Sa samus returns uh at work and that game like on my breaks that game is fantastic i have to say like it's really really good it's hard as hell though and this coming from quite a like a veteran so side-scrolling Metroid game fan, you know, I've played a lot of them. I'm sorry, I got distracted. This bunny is thick as fuck. Is she thick? And she is thick with three C's, dude. Like goddamn. <laughs> okay. Boom! Right in the face, you dumb. Well, she's done. I don't get the whole bunny theme. I don't like, get it either. I don't I, get. The... I assume they were just trying something different. Yeah, maybe they they, they might have just been characters. going for a different kind of creature or something. I don't know what it was, but. Is there a creepy like Brutals fan community? I wonder. Uh. Not to the extent of Sonic, I bet. <laughs> I bet you there is a Koopa Kids one though. You think so? Oh yeah, or Koopalings, however you want to say. You don't know. even bring up that that uh, what is that guy's name? Uh, uh, the dude from Kiss with the star. Paul Stanley? Yeah, Paul Stanley. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, don't even bring up that Paul Stanley ass Martin Koopa. I can't even deal with his shit. Dude. <laughs> he was pissing me off when me and Rachel were playing uh, Mario Kart the one day. Oh, why? He kept hitting me over and over again with <laughs> shells, with everything else. Oh my he god. Was player and he was just like, Fuck oh my god, god, look at this. Wow, look at that. Uh, we have a wedding to attend, I guess, folks. We finally. Ever After Hill. We finally got to it. Holy crap. Are you gonna Are you gonna end it here? Or are you gonna go in? I think I'm gonna end it here, just given the amount of time there is. But next time, folks, um, we're right here, man. So uh, we will uh, go inside the Disney Castle, also known as the Church of Bowser. <laughs> next time. And here are the couple pictures I just took. Beautifully done. All right. Next time we'll actually crash this wedding party. So we'll see what happens. Walt, thanks for joining me. No problem, dude. Uh, see you guys then. Peace.